Terry Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to be doing Pinterest pins with more than one picture. So one of the gals from my Facebook group said, everything's awesome, but I don't know how to make pins with multiple pictures. So see like this one for the um, bookends and the, the pen. I have a picture of the whole thing, a close up of the petrified wood and then the bookends. So this is already made. So you want to say the way that I do this is if you pick a design that's already there. So say you wanted to do a Pinterest graphic. So this one's really nice in that it will already have words and it may even have lots of pictures. So this one is awesome if you want to add a whole bunch of stuff. So like for this one, what you would do is you would go to uploads and I'm going to, I'm going to say upload your own images. And I have some ephemera, one that I'm going to make in a, a multi picture. Um, and it is small, where is it? Small, sorry. Okay. Let's say pretty girl Laverne. Okay. So we're going to say, first off, we need a picture of everything. And while we're doing this, I'm going to do the layouts because I feel like that is just too many pictures. Um, so let's see what we can do. Oh, let's do this one. Okay, so I really love this. So then we could have one big tall picture and here's some words, right? So we can modify these words with this really cute font and all that. So let's go back to our uploads. So this is what's really nice. It's still thinking about it. And we can just drag this picture of this woman in here. Okay, excellent. And then these little ones, we could say we want some of the little bits of it. So this is the writing, and I guess I'm going to have to use that one because I didn't obviously take enough pictures. Uh, okay, so it's mad that one of them is too, too big, so it's thinking about it. So while it's doing that, let's go ahead and edit this. So if you like the words, you would want to, this is just those big words, so I would say, um, uh, found relatives. Okay. And this has to be, see, this is one part of it. So then I would say, okay, this is a little too big, right? So we need to make this a lot smaller. So let's get this down to found relatives. Awesome. And I would put this right here. And I would say also that I feel like it's not dark enough. So that purple's okay, but we need a darker color. Um, and I would go with the lighter gray just because it's there. And then I might want to um, put a background behind it, right? Um, so let's get a shape. And this is kind of cool. They have a gajillion shapes. This is really nice. So let's go ahead and put this behind here. Okay. And then we'll say, can we say send it to back? Can we say arrange back? Okay, cool. And so then we might want to do something like this. And then we might want to take this picture. And uh, we can't really scoot it up. So sometimes in the pictures you can scoot it up or move it around. Say we wanted to get less of that. And then we're going to just click out, click to save that. And then... Now that I, I really hate this pink, so that's just way too pink for me. And then you could change the color. So I would say um, just something a little bit more. Well, I could even live with that, right? Um, so this one I don't necessarily need. So I'm just going to hit hit this. And if I want to get rid of it, I can come over here. And then I'm going to say vintage ephemera, right? So this isn't necessarily to be readable, to be 
you know, super fancy for any of that. It's just to be kind of cool. So I guess that would be a good a good picture by itself. Um, but don't forget, we have our uploads over here, so I could slide these in. Um, and then this one I might want to move over a little bit so we can see that. And then we do the checkbox. And then we come over here, and I want that just that really, because it's class of, it's a class of button. And so then we can say check. Excellent. And then we would have, you know, maybe one more thing over here. Worst case scenario, I could always do like, um, like this, right? Try to keep it straight. I think if you use shift in most programs, um, cause she did get a little funky and you could just pull her over and just really highlight her face and click check. Awesome. See, it's very much the same. So I would go and make this picture that I have that's too big. Um, what they're saying is that, that my file size is too big. So I would just have to save it down. But anyways, that's how you would make that picture. Um, super easy. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.